guys I just received this uh, from downstairs it's from the Chinese Cultural Center let's see what this is all about loan agreement all right this only means one thing it's time to head to the Singapore Chinese Cultural Center. Yo guys, how's it going? To all the mothers out there, a happy Mother's Day. Welcome to the Singapore Chinese Cultural Center, not to be confused with the Chinese Cultural Center over at Queen Street. We're here in the Shenton Way area and got a surprise for you guys. This is one of my biggest shows yet open to the public in this lobby area of the seventh floor of the Singapore Chinese Cultural Center and here you will find my ink sketches, oil paintings, yeah and one watercolor piece. I just want to mention again that the collection you see here were inspired by La Copie, my sketchbook. So they were either in the book itself or they were inspired pieces. So back to moms. This is a special shout out to my mom and my sister who are both mothers. We grew up in a time when art was actually on the decline. None of our family members knew any artists. The only form of art that I was exposed to were the classes in school, that's primary school. So we'd be drawing with crayons and we'd be outlining them with the China marker. And also those classes at the local neighborhood community centers. My mom would send me for those cartoon drawing classes, craft making classes using wooden clothes packs, uh, using pieces of clay, things like that. So she saw at a very young age that I was really good with my hands, according to her. And so she put me in those classes after school. And I really, really enjoyed my time learning how to uh, mold, learning how to draw. And that was pretty much it until uh, recently. Many of you know that I picked this up very much later on in my life. First, it was animation that led me to urban sketching that pushed me to fine arts, academic arts, learning the, the foundations of art, uh, which is what I'm practicing right now. So I'm really blessed to be able to do this in the here and now. So this show celebrates my time coming back from Italy, coming back to Singapore and really exploring Singapore with this new eyes, artist eyes, you know, seeing everything again but with those special lenses. There were a bunch of extracurricular activities that I took part in when I was a kid, but this one stayed, this art thing was lingering inside for a very long time and uh, it was just manifesting and I think just, just, just brewing and waiting for the right time for the kickoff. So here we are. For those of you who are interested in this book, La Copie, know that it's been sold out, but fear not because my publisher, Books Actually and I, were working on the second edition right now. A lot of the coffee shops have moved and newer ones have replaced them. So I've actually gone out in the last year or so to scout out for coffee shops to be in this new edition, the second edition. If you guys are curious what the first edition looks like, I've taken the liberty to post that on Gumroad. So if you're interested in that, you can find the first edition in digital format on my Gumroad account and I will leave the link right there in the description box. So if you've not heard or you've not seen La Copie, the first edition, go check it out. This is Elvin Mark. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode. It's too much blabbing, I know, but it's just a little bit about my history and how I've made the decisions along the way to get to this point. 
this show open on the 19th of April and will run all the way right through to the 15th of August. So if you're around the Shenton Way area, drop by and have a peek. This is Elvin Mark. If you like my stuff, you know what to do, especially with that. Otherwise, you can like, share and comment and wait until the next notification bell for the new upload. So, ciao ciao!